back to my channel guys my name is jamari this is jamari giovanni and i am here to bring a smile to your face every single day so feel free to subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more of me yeah let's get into the video guys so today is a very exciting video um as you can probably tell by the title this is Sorry, dude. But yes, this is Boomy, my pinball boss Corgi. I went to San Diego last month to go get him. I was supposed to vlog that trip, but I didn't end up actually doing it. Um, he is a boy. The, the pink on his shirt was just there on accident, actually. So if you pee on my bed, Boomy, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> okay, okay. I went to San Diego last month to go get him on September 5th. That is his gotcha day. Um, he is about uh, 12 weeks old right now. I got him when he went to 8 weeks. Um, and I didn't really film last month or introduce him last month because I wanted to give us time to get used to each other. And It's because I was lazy. And filmed last month because I was lazy. That's why. I can admit that now get into a good groove as we have cotton into kind of now and actually when i set my eyes on him i like knew he was mine because we just had the same energy and i loved him so much and he actually knew that i was his too because right when i picked him up and put him back on the floor or on the grass um he started guarding me from his other sibling there he, he's like no you don't get to pet anyone else but me and i was like okay i got boomy because i have always wanted a corgi puppy but i wasn't able to get one because my old dog saint he was a one dog only i don't know how to say it. like he's like you could only have him as a dog he didn't, he didn't do well with any other animal in the house kind of thing or any other dog in the house kind of thing um we could have got a cat he was cool with cats but um we don't like cats so we only had one dog and for the past and for the past three or so years, I have been saving up to get Boomy, and I finally got him. He's a little bit more expensive than I thought, so we're struggling right now, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Boomy, he was born on July 7th. He's on a litter of about five or six puppies. He is the biggest of his litter, and he has like huge paws. Like, let me show you. Come here, Boomy. Come here. Come here, dude. Shut the your paws. His paws are huge. And I love them so much. Um, don't lick my face. You know I don't like when you lick my face because your breath smells like kibble. Um, his dad was actually there I Scott today and his dad actually had huge paws too. So he got them from his dad. He got that from the vet and he has a lot of energy. He's really sassy. If you guys don't know, corgis are kind of sassy dogs. And he has been fighting me for the alpha position, but I have been winning so far. Um, you wanna get down? I think he's learning right now that I'm in charge and he has to do what I say, but it's like a slow process. We're still kind of getting with each other. We're getting used to each other. We're still kind of learning each other's motives. PP on my bed, we're gonna have a problem. So now I wanna just show you guys all of what I got for him. Um, this is a very extensive list, so bear with me here. Um, Hi. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was I got him his water and food bowls. I got these off of Wild One. I got these off of Wild One and everything that I show you guys will be linked down below if you guys want to go get either get the same thing or look at what else they have on their website. So these were from Wild One. Um, can I go? Can I go get more stuff? Yes? Yes? Okay. And then because Boomy has small legs, I got him these steps so he can get on and off my bed. And then this is also for him to get on and off the couch when he does get a little older. Um, but right now he's still on the floor because he's still learning that like he can't pee on things. Um, but we're still learning. So these are the steps that I got him. I got these off of Chewy. The next thing that I got him was his travel carrier. This is what I transported him in from San Diego. It fit under the airplane seats, which is a very good requirement to have when you're traveling with a pet. So this one is really sturdy and also has like a Sherpa lining inside. So it's very comfortable for the dogs. Um, he didn't pee on this, so I haven't washed it um, yet, but if your dog does pee on it, it is machine washable. The next thing that I got was this travel bag. This has, this is what I carry in his food and water when we go on like longer trips and then longer than like a two or three hour trip. Cause he does eat every six hours. So I wanted to make sure that he had food. So if we were like going to go see my sister for something, then I would bring this bag with me. 
It's very cool. Can I show them? It has these collapsible bowls in there. And then it has two storage containers where you can store treats and um, regular food for the dog. And then it has these side pouches for the water bottles. So very handy if you guys want to get this. This one's from Overland Dog Gear and also on Chewy.com. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is these little vests that I got him. I'm actually going to put this one up on my Depop because he already grew out of this one. And then the one he's wearing is another one. Hey, chill. Come on. Come on, get down the um, The other one I'm wearing, the one he's wearing is another one of these. These are fleece stripper line vest. They keep the dog warm and I like it for him because he's small and I don't know if he gets cold easily because he has fur, but I got it anyways in case because I don't want my baby cold. I'm gonna be that mom. I'm still gonna be that mom. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys a few of the harnesses that I got him and then leashes and um, more of the collectible bowls that I got. One of them is in my purse because I had taken to the vet today, so one's in my purse. But they came in a set of four um, and these are really handy because then you can put them to your backpack. What are you chilling on? No treats! No! If you don't want to like carry the bag bag around because these actually have the clips on them, then you can get these and it's just a nice little surround your purse kind of moment. And I got him a few harnesses because I didn't know what his size would be when I had him or when I got him. So I got this small harness which is actually up on my Depop right now. If you guys want to get this for your dogs, it is a small papilla harness. And then I got the medium one which fits him which it's actually still kind of big, but he'll grow into this one. And then I also have this wild one harness that he'll grow into eventually. Um, this one is really handy and it's like really soft material and I love this one a lot. And it also came with a poop bag and poop bag carrier and then a leash. Um, so this is the wild one walking or harness kit, I think is what it's called, harness kit. Um, I don't really like collars that much. I'd rather do a harness because I feel like it's easier for them instead of choking him on the net. I got him a harness. And then the other harness I got him was this, what is it, Cujo, I think? Yeah, Kurgo Kur Kur harness that I usually used for his car seat, but I don't know. I like this one, but it's just like so hard and it rubs against his skin a lot. He doesn't like this one because it irritates him too much. But if your dog is like less sensitive skin than mine, then you will be doing fine with this one. Cause I can't really walk with him yet. I have this retractable leash, which is very handy when you want to bring your dog back. Um, Cause the hard leash isn't very good for puppies right now. So I like this one. I got it from Flexi. He's cute or whatever. Okay, I also got him these two treats. These are from Grandma Lucy. They are very healthy and organic for dogs. They don't really have anything other than what's needed in treats like they don't have like any other flavors or stuff like that so i got him the blueberry biscuits which are these little bears and then i also got him freeze dried sweet potato okay so a few other things i got him were some needed cleaning supplies i got two lint rollers that i haven't really used yet because he hasn't really been shedding that much um but i got him two lint rollers to use for when i need to leave the house and one look actually presentable without dog hair all over me and these are also for the couch too um, and then I got poop bags. These are planet friendly. They dissolve if for by chance I have one that flies out from my hand. It will eventually dissolve and will just stay there and like cause even worse planet environment than we already have. Cause like, I mean, at this point, it's messed up. And then I have these two cleaning products right here. This one is an extreme deodorizer. I like the smell of this one. This one kind of stinks a little bit. But it does the job, so I use these two, and then I also use the old Leap of the Goody water and vinegar if I really need to. <laughs> if I run out of these, I'll use water, water and vinegar. And then these are his ear wipes. I forgot where his body wipes are, but I will go get those real quick. Okay, so these are his body wipes. I also got them from Wild One. They are eucalyptus and aloe vera, so I'm very fancy when it comes to my dog. And then I also got him ear wipes that I clean his ears with every Monday because his ears get dirty pretty quickly and I don't want that to like get an infection or anything. And then another thing that I got was this Bodhi Dog um, potty training spray. I sprayed this on his grass patch so he knows where to go potty and but he tries to eat it. So I don't know if that's like 
okay or whatever but i mean it's working so far okay and then another necessity that i got were body pads these are kind of run down now i need to go get some more but these are from all kind and they are unscented because i found out that scented potty pads like these like a bad scent eventually so i just got unscented potty pads that i can't smell anything so that's what i want i don't want to smell anything i don't want to know <laughs> the next thing that i got for him was his little doggy brush this is the puppy version of these i think i need to get another brush that's more like a hard bristle um type of one instead of these soft bristles because his hair gets matted really easily um now i'm gonna go through a few toys that i got him my mom also got him some toys and my sister also got him some toys so i don't have the links for all of them um but i will try and link everything that i do show you down below okay so the first one that i got was this hacksaw toy it's for his teething um i really like this one he likes this one actually you want the toy you want this one no <laughs> get it Can I have it? No? Fine. And then this other toy that I got him is this panda. It's more of a tug of war toy. Um, I got it from Zippy Paws, so I will link this one down below. And then my mom actually got him this Kong toy that you can put treats and peanut butter so they have to like fight to get it and it keeps them a little bit distracted if you need them distracted for a little bit, which I usually do when I'm doing my school assignments or editing a video, which I will eventually be doing again now. So hi. Um, I also, this came free, he kind of destroyed it, um, but this came free, this is a free ball you get when you order something from Wild One, they give you a free tennis ball. Um, and then I got these two burrow toys, um, this one is dumplings, this one is strawberry pancakes, um, he kind of destroyed the toys inside so I need to get new ones but um these are very handy because he does like to find try and burrow in them um and then my sister actually got this one he likes this one he's used on it a lot obviously um he got rid of the string that came with he chewed that through or chewed through that so this is one my mom my sister I think got from Walmart I don't know but this is a monster sweet toy and then my sister also got him this tire toy um, I think she got some one more again, and he loves this one. And then this teething ring that I got him from Chewy.com. He likes this teething ring, and then this one is what came when I picked him up on his gotcha day. This is from the Breeders Goodie Bag, I guess is what you call it. So she gave us these and a blanket that smells like his mom. And then I also got him a few blankets that I'm not going to show you guys, but I will link them all below because they're all throughout the house right now, so... I still got not. What the heck? Okay, so I got this one from Chewy.com. It's a thick, heavy blanket for wintertime. And then my sister got him two blankets that are just regular blankets from Walmart. And then that's it. I'm gonna show you guys his bed. This is one of the blankets I'll talk about that my sister got him from Walmart. Um, this is his bed. I got this from Frontgate. Um, it was kind of expensive, but it's not a pricier side for a dog bed, but he loves it. It's really worth the money um and this little ridge he likes to lay his head on he likes to try and burrow in here and it gives him enough space to feel um not like too much space but feel cozy enough um so this is his little dog bed and this is his crate mat um i was gonna put this in his crate but he still pees him pees in his crate too much so i'm gonna wait i think a little longer till he grows into his crate so i can put this um in there and then the last but not least thing is this little bed right here is for outside but you can also use this inside um i was going to use this as his bed in general then i saw that back from Rosanna pancino's puppy haul and i was like gimme so this one i'm going to use for more outside things when he does eventually go in the backyard and he has all his shots um I may also use this for downstairs for when we're down there. He has a little bed for himself and he feels included and stuff. I actually forgot to show you guys his collar. Um, I do, I did get him a collar um, and it has a little name on it and then information on the back. But um, yeah, this is a little collar. But I think that is it for this video. I'm so happy to welcome Boomy into our little family. Oh, I'm so happy to welcome Boomy into our little family. It's actually time for him 
to eat now, huh, dude? It's time for him to eat. Um, so I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys did like this video and you guys are happy to introduce Wumi into our little family. And comment down any suggestions you do have or you want to see from my channel. Um, also comment if I do end up leaving something out, I will try and find the link for it. Um, and since you're here, feel free to subscribe. Like, please feel free to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and Mumi to see another member to our little family. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you next week. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Let's go. I'm giving me you one, I'm giving you one. Since you're doing so good today, not the whole bag. Are you stepping on my computer again? Stop stepping on my computer. Stop stepping on my computer. Stop. Movie. No stepping on my computer. Yes, sir. Period. <laughs>